All right, so if you guys are looking for a DIY on how to route and install an oil pressure gauge, this is not it, but I did upload one a couple weeks ago. Check the link in the description. The point of this video is I gathered some feedback from some really experienced, knowledgeable uh, S2000 racers online, and they gave me some feedback on my video of me installing this, and I am making this video to show you the revision uh, of my oil pressure gauge setup here. So what I am doing, and the problem that some people told me about online, is where I have my oil pressure sensor, the DEFI sensor. The main reason I ordered the DEFI product is it looks great, number one. Number two, it's quality. But number three, and a big reason I ordered it, was the, the thread on the end of the sensor that they include is 1 8 inch BSPT, British Pipe Tapered Thread, which is exactly what the S2000 block is. So my intention was to make it the least amount of fittings possible, to run the setup, so I figured just threading right into the block would be the least hassle-free and least chance of leaks and it would work perfectly. However, the only thing I didn't think about and makes a lot of sense is these sensors are very sensitive to vibration. It's a digital sensor, there's no mechanical pressure going back to the oil gauge. So unfortunately what I'm going to be doing here is, uh, you know, wasn't my plans, but I want to do it right. I want this to be a reliable setup, so I'm going to relocate the pressure sensor. I'm going to unthread it from the block here. I'm doing all my work as you saw in the last video here. Well, not all of it, but just the sensor. It's a little tougher now that I got the uh, torque dampener installed. That bracket kind of gets close to it, so I got to keep my wrench at an angle. I went through Summit Racing because this whole coronavirus thing makes Amazon and a few other places not available to ship, but Summit Racing had a lot of selection and was pretty good with the parts. So as I mentioned, the block itself is a female 1 8 inch British pipe tapered thread. Now there aren't many clutch lines that are available, and actually I shouldn't say aren't many, there aren't any clutch lines I could find with a British pipe thread on the end. Um, 1 8 inch male British pipe thread um, because the taper between a British pipe thread and a NPT thread which is the SAE US standard is slightly different angles so they're not gonna you know seat perfectly to each other and it's a potential for risk if you thread them into each other so I wanted every connection to be as designed so let's cut to the chase here this is the first fitting that will be threading right into the block this is the part number it's Earl's performance from Summit and it's 1 8 inch BSPT male to 1 8 inch NPT female. And this was like $13.99. It's kind of crazy expensive, but it's stainless steel, which is pretty nice. So um, the next thing I bought was an 18 inch brake line. And on one end is 1 8 inch male NPT. So that male fitting is going to thread into this one adapter that's going to come off the block. So all there will be is one adapter off to the block then right into a clutch line. Now the clutch line goes all the way to the end here and on this end it's a size dash 4 AN fitting. So this was kind of a specialty part I had to like order and then it was make to order. Alright so this is the form for the clutch line and that's the part number right there for Kaiser manufacturing. I'm not sure if it's a you know a great brand or not but they did offer it on Summit and came in pretty quick braided stainless. Now coming off of this female dash 4 AN fitting, I have an AeroQuip fitting here, part numbers right there, and that is a male dash 4 AN fitting and it adapts to female NPT. You can't find a fitting that goes from male AN to British pipe female. That just wasn't going to happen. So that is going to thread into the end of this and then into this fitting into the NPT female have the other Earl's performance which is the exact opposite of this one they're flip flopped part numbers one number different but this one goes from male eighth inch NPT to female eighth inch BSPT so that'll allow me to thread the DEFI sensor into this if you are running a like AEM or pretty much any other brand you will not need to buy this one you'll save $14 because my original intent with this whole thing was to use no fittings but here I am adding three fittings and a clutch line in order to run this successfully so you actually will use less fittings if you order 
a kit, an oil pressure kit, with a sensor that is 1 8 NPT, not British pipe. So, oh well. But, uh, you know, I'm going to get everything torqued down here, assembled correctly, and my plan is to kind of loop this around and zip tie it to the frame about where the DEFI sensor is plugged into right now electrically, and I'll kind of just loop the wires back and forth now. So the sensor itself will be here with the connector and not threaded into the block. All right, so I got my fitting threaded into the end of the hose, and that's going to go to the engine. I'm going to wrap it with Teflon tape when I get ready to put it in the engine. This is the other stack that's going to go, dash 4 AN fitting on the end of here. All right, so here's the final stack all threaded together um, for the sensor end. And of course, it's a lot cleaner on the side that goes into the engine. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, my, uh, my single fitting or, or my zero fitting install right into the block with the sensor had ended up being um, quite a tower of fittings. But this is the least amount I can work with. Like I said, you would be missing this adapter to go from NPT to female British pipe thread. If you had like any other, pretty much any other brand gauge that has NPT as the sensor thread. So uh, you live and you learn, but it'll get the job done. All right guys, so here's the final product. I just wanted to go over one last thing. Is I wrapped it with some heat insulating tube uh, kind of sleeve that they sell at Advanced Auto Parts. It's by, made by Design Engineering. They make it in like a silver covering and like a gold covering as well. Uh, the only stuff I could get at Advanced locally was silver. Uh, I think the gold can withstand a little more heat, contact heat and whatnot, but this will do just fine for its application. Put some zip ties around it to kind of keep it together because the ID of the sleeve is like three quarters of an inch and the OD of this clutch line is like less than a quarter inch, so kind of overkill with the size, but didn't get the zip ties too close to the header because I don't want them to melt the actual zip tie, but I made sure the, uh, the, um, the sleeve goes pretty much all the way to the threads into the block and you can see it comes back here and lets a little bit of the braided stainless line come out and then it goes into my fitting stack. There's my stack of zip ties and the plug for the sensor I now have located by the cruise control and the wire kind of runs down there. But I have the zip ties like around the hex of those two adapter fittings pretty tight against the wiring harness and the actual sensor is not touching the metal part of the car at all. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully like uh, agree with this recommendation here. As you can see, there's more stuff, and this randomly popped up throughout the video because I'm filming this kind of late. The uh, other lines here are my oil cooler, and um, I have a DIY coming up for that too, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one.